Hello and welcome back to our OWASP Automated Threats video series. My name is Kyle Roberts and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer with F5. Today we're going to look at scalping bots, which is defined by OWASP under OAT005, also known as reseller bots. We'll cover these scalping bots at a high level, then walk through a simplified version of an automated scalping bot demonstration using Selenium with Python to help visualize what this looks like in its most basic form. Then we'll put F5's distributed cloud bot defense in front of the protected endpoints to prevent the unwanted automation. OWASP defines scalping bots as an automated method of acquiring goods or services in a manner that a normal user would be unable to undertake manually as a real human customer. This may include monitoring and waiting for the availability of desired goods or services, then the rapid action to beat normal users to obtain them. Scalping bots negatively impact real customers and create frustration and friction for everyday people. These bots most often target limited availability items and highly sought after goods or services to be resold later at a profit by the scalper. This often leads to a type of user denial of service since the goods or services become unavailable rapidly for loyal customers. In our demo scenario, we have a fictitious retailer called Acme Corporation who often features special promotions around limited edition goods. In this example, the targeted special promotion is for a highly sought after pair of sweet shoes that are heavily discounted. The shoe supply was restricted to only 100 pairs of shoes. Consumers were excited to buy these on drop day, but automated shoe bots were snapping up the entire inventory within seconds of the release, causing high bounce rates and frustration among real human users. As we browse to the Acme Corp website, we can see the special promotion item and it's heavily discounted by 60%. If we click on the item and go to the product page, we can see that the purchase button currently shows out of stock. As a loyal customer, without using automation, my options are pretty limited here. If the item is truly in high demand, the chances are that scalping bots have completely automated this process to verify when the items become available and automatically proceed all the way through to checkout before real customers have a chance. Let's take a quick look at our scalping bot script. It starts by importing all the modules it needs to perform the browser automation using Chrome. It then does a driver.get to initiate the browser and load the sweet shoes product page. We then check the product page for the add to cart button to see if it indicates an out of stock condition. If it's out of stock, the automation refreshes the page at the programmed three second interval, and then it loops through and repeats the process until the condition changes to reflect the in stock status of our product. Once we've determined that the product is in stock, the bot inserts a product quantity of 10 and clicks the Add to Cart button. It then loads the checkout page and completes the transaction with all the necessary information for purchase. Now let's run our script and see it in action. As we launch the Selenium Python script, it automatically opens the Chrome browser and loads the Sweet Shoes product page. It sees the purchase button is still out of stock and continues to refresh the page every three seconds until the Add to Cart button becomes available and meets the in-stock condition. Looking at our product page on the right-hand window, we'll scroll down to the Inventory section to change the inventory from 0 to 100 items in stock. Once the script reloads the page, we'll see the button change from Out of Stock to Add to Cart, reflecting the change we made to the inventory. The bot automatically detects the in-stock condition, increases the quantity to 10, and adds the product to the cart. From there, the bot automatically moves through the checkout process to complete the transaction 10 items at a time, and the poor humans don't stand a chance. F5 is able to meet our customers where they are to make deployment simple and flexible. Our customers can deploy either in the cloud, on-prem, or as a hybrid configuration. In addition, we have pre-built connectors and leading application platforms and CDNs to make deployments easy and fast. Now let's run the same attack with F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense WAP connector protecting the application. From the Distributed Cloud console, let's move into the web app and API protection tile to configure our XC Bot Defense service. As you can see, we've pre-configured the HTTP load balancer named Acme, and it's pointing to our Acme Corp domain as the origin. If we click to manage the proxy, then edit the configuration, and click on Bot Protection, you can see we've also enabled the service and pre-configured some of the information here as well. If we edit the endpoint policy, we'll change the name to product pages. And since scalping bots primarily use HTTP GET requests, we've specified GET as our method of interest for this policy. 
We've also specified our path prefix of slash product page, but currently the mitigating action is set to flag. Let's change the action to block and also specify a block message of OWASP OAT005 scalping blocked. Then let's save our configuration and rerun our scalping automation. As we relaunch our scalping bot, the browser automatically opens and attempts to load the Sweet Shoes product page. F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense detects the unwanted automation and presents the configured block message for demo purposes to validate functionality. We can also see that the product page is now available only for loyal customers and real users to purchase this limited time offer item. That's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.